You know, every young football player who has ever played the game has experienced a time when he didn't feel confident. Even the greatest players and coaches in the world have gone through this. Chip Kelly, head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, after winning the division in his first year as head coach in the 2013 season, said, I wasn't confident, (laughs) he said in an interview afterwards. I had a system and a plan that we were going to go in, but I didn't know what the outcome was going to be until it was all finished. But I think we played sound fundamental football, and I think that's what we preach on a daily basis to our players. You want confidence, right? It's right there for the taking. Confidence comes from working your plan, focusing on the details of what you need to do and just keep working and moving. Did you get that message from Chip Kelly? The more you work on your skills, the more confident you will become. You don't have to have beaten anybody on the field in order to feel great about your conditioning and and how hard you work to get there. When you know that you are running as fast as your body possibly can and you're ready to play because you ran countless miles in practice, you get confidence. When you feel solid that your technique has been practiced and honed and you don't even have to think about it anymore, you get confidence. When you have run through all the possibilities of how things play out in the field and how you will react to them, you get confidence. Nobody is born with confidence. It's something that you create and everyone can do this. It it comes from success, but not necessarily big success. Confidence is generated from doing hundreds of little things well. You don't need a coach or a parent to give you confidence either. You start feeling confident because you know that you've trained yourself to do what you need to do to have it happen in the game. Confidence is built every single day as a football player. It's not about making the big play in the big game. It's about learning that you can push yourself just a little more than you did the day before discovering that you can take the lessons and learnings from a coach or tutor and make them real from from your practicing. Even if you are as young as like 10 years old and, and going up against a bigger, faster opponent, you can feel confident by telling yourself that you always have an advantage no matter who your opponent is. You know, when I was 13 and I played football, I was always the smallest player on the field, but I knew I had an advantage. Because I believed that I was smarter than every other player. And that gave me confidence. Don't wait for others to build your confidence. You can do it for yourself. Let's do this. I'm Craig Sigal.